So I want to do some videos about a program called Construct Free. Construct Free is a very, very powerful tool that allows the creation of video games with minimal programming. There is some programming side of this, but it's very, very basic. So when you go to the site, editor.construct.net, you'll come to this page here. So you can see that there's some demos that other people have made. So you can see the sort of idea of the level of graphics and design that you're making. These are not going to be triple A games like Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed, but you can still make some very, very high quality games with these. Now, when you start, there are three main options at the top here. So if you want to load a file that you're working on already, you've got the cloud option. If you've saved it in a cloud storage, such as Dropbox or Google Drive, and you've got the file option where you open it from your computer itself. As I've not got a file started yet, I'm just going to click on new project. So it's really important that we give a name to our new project. So I'm going to call it uh, test. This is just for video purposes. In terms of all of this stuff, don't worry too much about this at the moment. We can just stick to standard definition. And we'll talk more about the viewport size when we actually get into the tool itself. So we can change this. Landscape portrait. Again, portrait when you think of a piece of paper is standing up. Landscape is on its side. We'll stick to landscape for now, but if you want a game where the character is mainly going upwards, portrait would be better with that. And we want to start with an event sheet. If you want to do pixel art, you can tick this option, but I'll also show you how you can get a similar effect without ticking this option as well. So we can click create. And then we get something that looks like this. Now this looks really confusing to begin with because there's a lot going on. So first of all, we're going to right click, view, and zoom out and that should be good for my laptop size let me just double check I'm going to zoom out once more like so so now you can see I've got something that looks like a piece of paper this is actually my game screen so you might be working out what's this dotted line around here well this dotted line is actually where the camera is going to be so you can see that we can make games where we've got the player inside the camera and then we've got the rest of the level Something that's quite difficult to do in a program like Scratch. So this is why this tool is a bit more powerful. You've also got all your file layouts. So you can have different things stored in different file locations. So layouts are in fact your levels. So each layout is corresponding to a different level that you've created. An event sheet. So event sheet controls some basic programming elements. Scripts and object types we're not going to worry about for now. Uh, or timelines, the only other one we want is sound and music, so music is going to be playing in the background, sound is sound effects. We've also got layers, so if you've used a program like Photoshop before, layers will allow you to have stuff going on on top of each other. So layer zero might be our background, we might want a layer above that which has got our main character on, we might want a layer above that which is our UI such as keeping the score, health and any components like that. On this side, we've got our properties panes. So our property pane allows us to change certain options. So at the moment, we're looking at layout options so we can show a grid. This might make it easier to position objects in the world. We might want to change the margins or change our camera viewport size to be slightly bigger. So we can do that by changing the size of our page. So we can change this to say 2000 by 300. So this gives us a very narrow look and we can also go to our project properties we can change stuff like our background color but we can also change the viewport size so again this is our camera so we might want to say actually we only want the height to be 300 now because that's as big as our level is so that's a very very brief introduction on what this tool is and how to use it in other videos, we'll be covering some more elements in more depth and creating our first level. Last thing I want to show you very, very quickly is just how we save. We've got a save icon here. We can also go menu and we can go project, save as and download a copy. So if you're working locally, we can download a copy as well.